Hello everybody once again, this is Akawa Kazoo, your Dragonair Southeast Asia voice for the community. It is in fact raining now, it is indeed dark times for Dragonair Southeast Asia. While it is evident that the recent implementation of the 150 mark update had sparked off fierce debates even within ourselves, pro FTG and FTG players alike, it is time we come united against a common cause. Yes, we have done it. Cherry Credits have responded to our petition regarding the hybrid FTG system that we are currently using since the 150 mark patch. Yes, they have heard our pleads, our feedbacks, and definitely our voices and opinions. From the email that they have sent me, we have misunderstood their intentions as well as the turnout of events behind the hybrid FTG system. In the same email, they have answered our queries regarding the recent events, including the reason behind the last minute testing of the game client on 19th of March 2012, a day before the game patch. The Dragon S team from Cherry Credits have actually began intensive, intensive testing for the 150 mark patch, starting from 23rd February. The hybrid FTG system, however, was not working on their first and subsequent test builds, including the time when the MPS session in Philippines was held. Some Philippines attendees may recall that Mr. Anderson Kang stated that the hybrid system has yet to be confirmed and is subjected to changes. Identity fixed the hybrid FTG system only on the night of 19th of March. Yours truly, Edison Kang, and a game specialist stayed behind to test the final build thoroughly, which was why he could respond to some of the queries on his Facebook. He had to be truthful to the questions asked. It was what they have tested, and I believe he deserved due respect for even bothering to let people know the truth, even if the results were not favorable at all. With all the details announced to the public, it was too late to, po to postpone the patch date and the implementation of the 150 mark update, thus it went through in the end. So yes, we, Dragon S Southeast Asia players, have misunderstood Cherry Credits, their Dragon S team, as well as Mr. Edison Kang. I hereby apologize on behalf of the Dragon S Southeast Asia community who have voiced their unha unhappiness regarding the hybrid FTG system. So what exactly went wrong here? The hybrid FTG system is proposed and implemented by Identity the developers. This system was rejected by Cherry Credits, while Identity is adamant that the system will be beneficial to us since it was a success in Korea and China. With that in mind, Identity will in the future implement the same system in Dragoness, North America and Thailand as well. However, after this commotion in Southeast Asia, we will never know if Dragon S North America, also known as DNNA, will still continue with the implementation. Also, Identity motion to Cherry Credits that level 40 players will be able to play at least 5-6 to six hours before FTG depletes to zero, meaning that there will be a different depletion rate of FTG for this new hybrid system. This, however, was not the case as mentioned above. The hybrid FTG system in place for Dragoness Southeast Asia was the same one used in China Dragoness or Korean Dragoness, whereby the system works such that your FTG loss rate at max level is 300 per Abyss Dungeon, which meant that you are only able to do 3 Abyss Dungeons every day at level 40 or a max level cap. This is definitely not what Identity had promised earlier on where players are supposed to be able to play at least 5 to 6 hours before FTG depletes to zero using, using the said hybrid FTG system. Trial Credits have also replied that they are not making Dragon S Southeast Asia a rich man's game. This is actually very true and in line with the action so far since they have gone down to Philippines to hold a meet the player session just to answer players queries about the game. Cherry Credits also mentioned that they know too well that the hybrid FTG system will definitely do more harm to the game, the community, and the economy of the game as well. So here's the current situation. In the email from Cherry Credits, they have replied that there will be events in plan to replenish players FTG on a regular basis before a permanent solution can be found. At the same time, they are constantly gathering feedback on Facebook forums, and Cherry Messenger. 
So once again, here's the most important part of the video, which is once again us viewers coming together and take action and letting our voices be heard ultimately. We have wrong cherry credits, the Dragon S team, and most importantly, Edison Kang. In doubt? Look at the past events cherry credits have conducted for us, some even come from Mr. Edison Kang himself. Events like 3 times nice reset during the start of January 2012, us celebrating as a community once the hush bug was solved, and even little things like Edison Kang giving appreciation to people who have helped respond to queries on his Facebook page. Like I've mentioned earlier in my previous video, Edison Kang is definitely a great man, and I have no doubt with regards to that. His actions have been consistent. Now it's up to us to fight for our own generation and to build our very own Dragoness Southeast Asia legacy. With that, I just need you people to do one thing. Share this video on Identity's Facebook page. Link will be provided in the description below the video. Share this video politely. Let them know that the hybrid FTG system isn't welcome in Dragon S Southeast Asia and why. With Cherry Credits and their Dragon S team continuing to compile feedbacks regarding the current hybrid FTG system and our constant sharing of this video on their Facebook page, we once again can only hope that this will be enough for a response and hopefully bring about change ultimately. With that, God bless and peace off.